Hi, my name is Zoe Hoffman, and I am the founder and lead tutor here at Hoffman Tutoring Group. I'm going to be telling you how online tutoring works and showing you some of the ways that we make learning fun for your child during their online personalized tutoring session. Online tutoring is a great option for busy families because you can attend tutoring from the comfort of your own home without having to drive anywhere. For online tutoring, we use a platform called Zoom that allows us to video chat as well as share our screens and interact with screens as well. I'm using Zoom to record this video right now so that you can see exactly how it looks. The coolest thing about Zoom and online tutoring is that we can right on screens with your child. So I'm going to show you, starting with the whiteboard application on Zoom, how we do that. So I pulled up the whiteboard here for you to see, and at the top of my whiteboard, I have a toolbar, and your child will have a similar toolbar on the top of their whiteboard screen as well. And your child's tutor can use the whiteboard to do anything that they would do on a whiteboard in person, mostly um, to practice and show your child different concepts. So they may do a little mini lesson. Um, for example, I might be doing a lesson on positive and negative numbers. So I could draw maybe negative 10 plus negative three and either show my student how to solve that problem here on the whiteboard or have them select the drawing tool from their toolbar and um, show me the answer. So they may draw me a little number line here to show me how they get the answer and then write their answer negative 13. This whiteboard is also super fun to just draw fun pictures on to give the mind a break after a difficult task. Uh, we can also draw and interact with screens on the internet and I, that's what I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to be showing you um, one of the applications we like to use with our reading students. So I'm going to show you some letter tiles that we use. So here is a picture of our letter tiles. Um, this is actually in my browser and the student can interact with this as well. So your child's tutor may be wanting them to read some words. Maybe they're working on phonics. So she can um, drag down letters to spell different words depending on what they're working on. So maybe they're working on sight words or double E words and so she can bring down the word C. Uh, she may even then come and tell your child, okay, I have given you control of the screen and she'll hit a button on her screen that allows your child to control this mouse. And so then your child can go and move the letter tiles around um, in any way that they need to for the lesson. Uh, a lot of times we use this for spelling as well. So students can drag down letter tiles to spell different words that they're working on. Another thing that we use for reading instruction is books. Of course, we're going to read books with reading instruction um, and anything that we can get online, whether it be a PDF, Kindle, um, online book, we are going to make sure we pull books that are engaging uh, and interactive for kids. So here I have my Kindle Cloud Reader up with Frendel, one of my very favorite chapter books. And uh, I can show you how we might use our toolbar to read with this as well. So I have a laser pointer here. I can track the words uh, while either a student reads or maybe if I am reading to a student, I can use my laser pointer to make sure that they can follow along. Another thing that we can do with plain text like this is use highlighting tools. So maybe uh, your tutor is working with your child on answering questions using text evidence. And so your child can get their highlighter and they can highlight evidence for why they picked the answer that they did. Or maybe they highlight things that they wanna write about later. Um, and then this also allows the tutor to highlight things, uh, maybe things that they wanna point out to your child or a sentence that they want them to review and maybe read over a couple of times. We can also use uh, these interactive tools for math as well as many other subjects, but I'm going to show you some math tools next. So the next thing I wanna show you is some of our manipulatives. Oh my goodness, I gotta erase my screen here. 
Um, and so with math, we can use any of the manipulatives that your child uses in class online. So manipulatives are great because they give kind of a solid um, experience to something that can be very symbolic, which is math. Uh, so here you can see I wrote the number 234, and I might want a student who is working on place value to model 234 with me for in base 10 blocks. So I can again say, you have control of the screen, and click that button on my, my computer to give your child control of the mouse, and then they can drag uh, these base 10 blocks up to model 234. So there's the 200, here would be the 30, and then we have one, two, three, four. There are many other manipulatives on here. One of my other favorites is the geo board. Um, so we can even, I mean, anything that we can use in, in class, we can use online. Uh, to help personalize your child's instruction. So here, I don't know if you remember geo boards from elementary school, but we can use those rubber bands to make shapes, which is really fun. Another thing that a lot of people ask us about is how we deal with homework during online tutoring because students can't actually hand us the homework. And so I'm going to show you some homework next. So Homework is fairly easy to do during online tutoring. Um, and all we ask is that your, you or your child send their, the tutor a picture or PDF of the homework. So a lot of times the tutor will ask the parent or child to just snap a picture with their phone of the homework and then text or email it to the tutor depending on their um, communication preferences. So then we're able to put that image up on the screen and then work with your child on the homework uh, so that they can get the help that they need. And so here I have pulled up a image. Actually, this student had a digital copy of their assignment, so this is a PDF. And so I would have this up on the screen and the student would have their homework in front of them and we would go over it together. So I might do an example problem first. Um, maybe we're working on this section for the positive and negative numbers. And so I could come in here and say, remember, keep change, change. We're going to do negative nine minus four and change that to a positive, change this to a negative. Now we know that this is negative 13. And maybe I would do another example one and then have the student go in and start doing some of them on their own with my assistance. Um, so this is possible for almost all homework. Um, and students actually enjoy kind of interacting with their homework in a different way than just pencil to paper. So those are just a few of the things that we do during online tutoring. Obviously, we are always gathering resources to help your child in the specific way that they need instruction. So we would love to have your child in online tutoring. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and so I want to encourage you to click the link below this video to schedule a free consultation call with me so that I can hear what's been going on with your child at school and suggest ways that our tutors can help your child reach their full potential. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach us through the contact form on this site. It's in the toolbar. Um, or you can call us at the number that's at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we would love to answer any questions or concerns that you might have.